Hello and welcome to this video. The division is a hot topic and many people are in disapproval. But when you look right into it, it's very hard to put your finger on what exactly people hate about the division. I struggled with this myself until recently, but now I feel like I have a logical and coherent answer. See, what I'm about to argue is that the division lacks an identity. Even if the devs had one when they were designing it, it's not very clear to the gamers who are playing it currently. What I mean by this is video games are more than just their title. Even genre categories barely scratch the surface on what experiences players might find. Video games are an emerging media, and as such have many identities waiting to be discovered in the realm of the unknown. However, not every game will nail one of these identities down. In fact, they might be outright confusing and contradicting. This is where I believe the division falls in. I first heard these ideas from Total Biscuit, who then read them from a Guardian article. The outlining idea is that this game combines a very realistic world with very unrealistic game mechanics, which contradicts itself and adds a major loss in identity. This is further reinforced with its branding as a Tom Clancy game, which is a franchise that prides itself on realism. The most notable of these conflicts being the post-pandemic New York in its ultra-realistic setting with garbage piled up and every detail taken into thought which greatly conflicts with the unrealistic game mechanic of bullet sponge enemies, loot shooting, and realism breaking perks of a stats shooter. This leaves players confused with wondering whether this game is supposed to be as realistic as possible or just fun to play with fun mechanics. The argument being it should be one or the other. Either it's a stats based shooter and it dips little into realism or it's a full blown realistic modern military shooter with any divergence from reality explicitly explained it leaves gamers asking which is it Ubisoft because we can't tell by playing the game furthermore they branded this as an RPG somebody needs to explain to me how this is a role playing game because all I see is go from point A to point B and very little choice in quest and dialogue option you kill every enemy, you make no choices. There is no karma points, there's no role playing whatsoever. Why is this the case Ubisoft if it's a role playing game? Really this is a stats shooter, it's nothing more than that. And calling it a role playing game just adds to this identity crisis that we already have. And this is why many gamers are just speechless and have no idea what to call it other than it sucks and it's garbage because there is no clear identity of this game. The best way to sum up the division, a stats based shooter with realism. When you put it like that, it doesn't make any sense. It's a contradiction unto itself. It's branding as Tom Clancy RPG, that's a conflict. And then comparing that to what it really is, a stats based shooter with realism like I just said, that conflicts with what they're branding it as. So, the identity is just really lost. There's no clear identity whatsoever. And this is why I have to brand the Division as having an identity crisis. I hope you enjoyed this video, and hopefully my thoughts regarding this topic. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.